Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming back. So in this video, guys, I've been requested to do a video about visa interviews. So we've been talking about so many things regarding student visa coming here, DV to DV lottery. So I have prepared you. You now know what an I-20 is and to take the steps to, to come here as a student. There's one big thing though, if you prepare everything else and you're not prepared for the interview, then you're not gonna come here if you go to the embassy prepared. So this is just video number one that I'm gonna do among many other videos. So to begin, I'm just gonna talk about the demeanor. How do you go to the embassy? I'd say when you go to the embassy, treat it as a job interview, treat it as a job interview. So physical appearance, what to wear, not to wear, I'm going to be talking about. So and how to present yourself physically. So this is cultural too, uh, very cultural. So you have to present yourself in the way Americans interpret confidence, honesty, and things like that. Like you have to present yourself like you know what you are doing speak up um let's begin by what not to wear so i'd say to wear uh for women don't wear like extravagant weaves to be honest i'm not saying i am the standard if you have a natural hair like this it is perfect but if you're to wear a wig i'd say wear it shoulder length not too long if you're gonna wear lipstick Avoid like shouting colors. This is not, you're not going to a party. You're not trying to impress the American that you're very American. No, 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 no. You're trying to give a fast impression. Fast impression matters so much. Do you know people make decisions, hiring decisions within the 30 seconds. So in my previous job, I'll give you the down low. In my previous job, I was the hiring manager. And to be honest with you, sometimes I would go to the lobby because we'd, we'd encourage our applicants to come and by the receptionist stay at the lobby. They don't know who you are. They've me never met you. So I'd go to the lobby and sit there. They don't know that I would be the person interviewing them. I'd go there just to see the demeanor because I wanna see who they really are when nobody is looking. So demeanor, 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 demeanor. So the first thing is you're not gonna be shaking hands. So I'm not gonna tell you how to shake hands, uh, but your physical appearance and how you appear to them. Number one, eye contact. Eye contact is so important to Americans. Eye contact to Americans means that if you're looking at them, like, I don't know where the camera is. Um, I use my laptop. I, I don't like it when I use my laptop, but I, I need to use my laptop to show you something in the internet. I don't know how to use it on the phone. Anyway, eye contact, eye contact. When you are talking to any American, whether you're doing interviews or having a conversation, you have to look at them in the eye. Like your eyes have to lock. You're not staring at them, but you're acknowledging them. So make sure you're looking at them. You're looking at them. And, and probably for our culture, in African culture, we don't do eye contact like that because it's not a sign of respect. Like if you respect somebody, you kind of like tone it down by looking down, but not with Americans. You're gonna do this interview like maybe five minutes. It's not probably, it might not take you more than five minutes, guys. And that five minutes you need to perform. So the first thing I'll tell you is make sure you're looking at the American eye to eye, eye to eye. You're gonna have to practice this in the mirror. This is a stare. This is eye contact kind of like soft i'm looking at them i'm looking at the screen i wish i was using my phone to show you but the right eye contact is you're looking at them in the eye when they are asking your question or you're responding don't look down 
don't scratch your head just like body language is so important in this country i don't know how to say this can i say it in swahili can i say it in kale body language body language and it starts with eye contact so number one look at the american in their eye as they talk to you and as you respond to them make sure that you have eye contact and if your eyes are going to be off you're about to take something just explain say i have it here if they're asking for something where do i have my oh where do i have my I'm, I'm i'm reaching out to get my folders because i i'll be talking to you about having folders so if you're reaching out to something they're asking you can i see it you, you you're gonna say sure i have it here let me get it for you so you're telling them what you're doing don't be silent engage them so they ask you oh um they ask you can i see your bank statement what you're gonna respond if they say something like that can i see your bank statement because i'm gonna ask they're gonna ask you you're gonna say yes ma'am yes ma'am not yes mom i think i've heard kenyans i've had people from my country instead of saying ma'am they say mom no 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 it's m a a m yes ma'am or you, if you don't want to say yes ma'am you can say sure i'll be happy to give that to you you can say sure i have it right in my folder let me get it for you you can say yes yes ma'am i'll get that for you in a moment let me look let me get it for you in my folder so eye contact you're not like you're not breaking the silence you're not nervous so they say can i see the letter from whatever they're asking you document you're gonna say of course if you don't want to say sure you can say of course i have it right here so and say it will take uh, just a moment i have it here i'm gonna give it to you you see i'm still you're still talking you're still engaging them you're still looking at them in a sense i love food make sure you put your documents in a folder this is just a folder that i have and i don't know what folder you're gonna you're gonna prepare but arrange your documents arrange your documents arrange your documents so that when they ask you you know where it is and when they ask you just acknowledge that you have it and say just a moment let me get it for you and then get it okay so eye contact and the demeanor right the demeanor like you don't want to be like touching your face when you're explaining things you don't want to like be pocketing, like um, putting your hands in the pocket. But I think I don't know how the how the embassy looks like. I don't know if they are able to see your entire body. But if they are able to see your entire body, please don't put your hands in the pocket. It is not polite. And I see if you are Kenyan, you probably are going to be tempted to do that as a man. Usually, I see men putting hands in their pocket is a no no in america it's not respectable so treat this like you're gonna get a job okay so i said eye contact eye contact go practice in the mirror like this it's not a stare it's looking at the person eye contact with your friends while you're practicing before you go like have your friends talk to you and look at them eye to eye it is so freaking important i can't even tell you that's like going to be 50 percent of your interview is how you present confidence. So Americans, like I said, interpret confidence. Like if you don't look at them in the eye, they think there's something you're hiding. They think you're not interested in what they have to say. They think that you're just not there and you don't want the embassy consulate to think like that. Your number one job, is to please them. Their number one job is to convince them. Your number one job is to make them like you. You know, people say yes to people that they like. And what do you do so that people can like you? You're not gonna go there like angry. You're not gonna go there looking moody. So your first thing, I talked about eye contact, but I forgot, let me go back. The first thing when you get to the embassy is your turn and they call your name. What do you do? Make sure you smile. 
make sure you smile. Did you watch my video? I was uh, interviewing a Nigerian student. And I asked her, what do you got to say to people who are aspiring to come here? She answered by saying, make sure you learn how to have a conversation with people. And number two, make sure you learn how to smile because people smile here a lot. So the smile here in America is a form of greeting, is a form of acknowledging. So you'll see Americans smile. And some of those smiles people say is fake. But when your number is cold, you're sitting down and they say so-and-so, I think they call numbers, right? The first thing you do is you don't even have to show your teeth. All you do is, can you do that? Can you do that? <laughs> can you do your lips like this? Hmm. Like move your, move your chicks like this. They need to see that. Oh. Can you do that? Yeah, I know it might not mean anything to you, but you have five minutes to convince that person in front of you to give you a visa. Really, you might have all the documents, but you need to connect with them and connecting to, with them in a language that they understand. So when you stand up, I said, number one, please don't touch your face, don't touch your hair, body language, don't look away, look at the person eye to eye. And number one, give them a smile. However moody they are, they are gonna be moody. They're probably overwhelmed by work and they don't wanna see you. You know, they are overworked, especially during pandemic, this pandemic, the employees at the, at the State Department, they are overworked. Please. No matter how their mood is, don't mirror their mood. You smile. If you want to show the teeth, that's fine. You can smile. But if you don't want to, this is the smile that you give them. Make sure your thing is moving. They're seeing you smiling, okay? You need acknowledgement. Okay, so body language. So what not to wear? Oh, and I said, bring this. You can bring something like this too. I have one of this. So you can put all your documents like, you know, just get organized, find a folder and organize all your documents step-by-step, step. bank statement. Um, whatever, we're gonna talk about social ties, lessons of recommendation, whatever you need, whatever you have that needs to be shown to the consular should be in a folder not should be but i recommend for it to be in a folder and make sure you know where they are okay that those are examples of folders that i have okay so what not to wear i said hair right if you are wearing a wig make sure you do a clean shave if you're a man do a clean shave for a woman don't overpower yourself with makeup the lipstick has to be really neutral. If I were you, I'm not even gonna wear this type of earrings. I'd wear something very neutral if they are gonna be long. Neutral is black or brown. So I could wear this, right? You're not gonna see them much. They're a little long, but they're very neutral. It's hard to, to see, okay? I could wear something like this. It's silver, it's kind of neutral, it's very short. Don't wear like the big ones. If you're gonna wear uh, a ring, don't wear things like that. You're not going to on a fashion statement. Where is my camera? There you go, that's too big, too flashy. If you wanna wear it, wear something, probably something, whoops, excuse me. <laughs> something like this, guys, like, you see how small it is? Like a wedding band. It's just so clean right there. I talked about weave. Make sure it's like shoulder length. Don't put on like really loud powder, mascara, 
eyelashes, just get rid of them. A clean look, a clean look, a clean look. Uh, don't throw them off. How about, um, yeah, you can wear neutral colors. If you have like, if you don't have short earrings and these ones are long, but they are very neutral because it's black, just keep them as short as possible. Let me show you guys, right? See, okay. Alrighty, how about clothes? Wear a suit. If you're a woman, let me show you what not to wear. Um, for women, I say, please don't dress like that. Let me show you guys. Don't dress like this. And I'm speaking from a woman's perspective. Hope you can see it. Like this is not necessary. This is not necessary. You might meet a woman, women to women. Sometimes we are jealous and I don't think this is, this is just don't wear this. It's just wear something that is just below the knee. Okay. This is too much. Don't wear that. Okay. Do not wear that. As a man, what do I say? Don't wear. Let me see for a man. Don't wear shorts. Okay. You're not trying to impress them to show them the, how American and how cool you are. Okay. Um, don't wear too bright of colors. Wear like black or blue suit. And if you don't have a suit, you can wear khaki pants, tan, like the tan color. I'm trying to look for uh, what not to wear for men and I can't find it. But I have what you can wear. I have examples of what you can wear. Uh, let's get to that page, guys. This is serious business. Okay, so what to wear, guys, what to wear. See? For men, let me go to each page. This is good, women, you can wear this. See, that's professional. That is professional. Do you see it? Do you see it, guys? No, no. That is good to wear, okay? Next, see this is not short. Below the knee. Very clean look. Do you see any earrings? No earrings. And that's another good smile, guys. If you want to smile, you can smile like this woman. And look at the lipstick. Look at the lipstick. It's so neutral. So that's what you want to wear. Okay, let's go next. See, that's loose. It's not tight. And it's not too loose. Right? So that's what you can wear. Look at the lipstick, it's very neutral. Look at the necklace, you can't even tell she has a necklace because of the color, it's brown and it's very little, okay? So that's what you can wear. Um, I hope we can find some guy examples. I'd say to be on the safe side, don't wear this. It's a little too flashy and too fashionista. It's bordering casual for me. So don't wear it. And your shoes, guys, don't wear too much of a high heel when you go. It's like they can hear you ta, 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 ta. You're not in a runway. You're not in a runway. Flat shoes, simple, clean look. And if you're gonna wear like shoes that are high heel, just kidogo, just a little bit, not too much. Okay, so let's see what next. I hope we can find guys. I think I've talked about, guys, make sure you're clean look. This is, and I would say, don't do this. Do not do this. That's, that's bordering casual. It might be acceptable here in America, but I don't sometimes, but I wouldn't want. Personally, it is on the borderline. This one is on the borderline. Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, this is all good. Conservative, think of conservative. See, that sweater is a good color. It is not like screaming yellow. It's kind of like subtle yellow. And look at that smile, look at that watch. Instead of wearing, uh, guys, instead of wearing an, a, neck, uh, a bracelet, wear a watch. And I think that's a good thing because I think in Africa we wear watches a lot, so that's good. So wear a watch instead of a necklace. And if your hair is shoulder length, you see the way it's been styled here? 
it is not style crazy. It is really professionally styled, just like slightly over the eye. Make sure your eyes are being seen. And look at this. It's like a very light mascara, right? Eyelashes, or is it called mascara? Whatever it's called. You see, I don't wear makeup that much. Okay, so let's see. I'm really, hey, finally, finally. So guys, you can wear this for, for the guys. See, nice belt, clean. Look at the shoes. They're well polished. Blue is a good color. Blue is a good color. Very simple. Again, for guys, I have to remind you, do not pocket. See, the, see that? That's a very clean look. You can see his face. He kept his hair very well, right? Very neutral colors for the tie. This is a no, no, don't go like this, guys. This is too casual. This is what not to wear. Yes, this is what not to wear. Do not go like this. Oh, this is, well, this will be so disrespectful like not tucked in, that is crazy. Okay, let's go next. So this one, let's see here. This one is a little tight, you know, make sure it's well fitting. See how this tight is? This suit is okay, but it is tight. So, just go buy something that fits you. If you have to borrow your brother, your uncle for just one day, I like the shoes, just borrow for just one occasion and Rudisha, right? The tie here is too mawa mawa, you want. Everything else is good except the tie. You are not represent, you do like a blue color, brown, you know? to Monge Giyake, right? So don't do that. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, guys, I think, I think I've covered like the basics. So the basic is eye contact. I'm gonna repeat that, eye contact, eye contact, eye contact, not a stare, but looking at them. It communicates confidence and I wish I can stand to show you, I don't think I, I don't think this, um, this computer is not going to show my body. Stand, stand straight, stand straight. Shoulders, your shoulders high. Body language is so important, guys. Your shoulders high. Practice before you go to the embassy. Eye contact. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your hair. Don't pocket. Smile. No matter the attitude of the consular smile give your answers as though you're smiling look happy be upbeat have a good attitude wish them a happy day say good morning if they call you smile and say initiate greeting they don't greet you you can say good morning good morning ma'am good morning ma'am if you can see their name if you see the name, if they have a name tag, you can say if they have their first name as Adam, you can say, good morning, Mr. Adam. Good to see you. You can say, good morning, Miss Julie. Good to see you, right? You can say that. And just be a bit positive attitude, smile. Show your teeth if you, if you don't wanna do this. Show your teeth. Show your teeth and be happy to be there. Don't mirror, again, don't mirror. I'm repeating myself. Don't mirror the energy of the counselor. I am gonna be talking about the questions. I just wanted to start with the body language and appearance, what not to do and how to get organized, what to do once you enter. I hope that was helpful. We'll talk about the questions, the possible questions the possible questions. And I wish we can do like a mock question with somebody. If I find somebody to do like a mock questions, we'll do it. We will do it for you guys. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> I feel like I've talked a lot. I hope it's useful. 
give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, go Harry.